Hi guys, this is App Unwrapper. I'm back with Genshin Impact and it's update 4.5. Uh, we have the Alchemy event. I'm going to continue with that. This realm is... Oh. If you ever... This again, so annoying. Taking a break, cuties? I was just looking at the sales data, and it seems like you two have quite the talent for business. The potions seem to be flying off the shelves. Oh, Lisa! Perfect timing. We were just talking about how we could use some help around the shop. Oh, are the orders piling up already? Having trouble keeping up? Yep, we're officially swamped. Paimon never thought we'd get this many customers. Well, I can't say I'm surprised by the success. I was actually anticipating this kind of response. While you two were busy with the shop, I was talking with Freda about some possible ways to make the business more efficient. After observing your work, I made note of several improvements we can make to the brewing, cultivation, and sales aspects of the business. Wait, so you've been doing things behind the scenes this whole time? Paimon kind of thought you were just slacking off. <laughs> 
Hey now, I'm actually pretty reliable when it counts. So how are we supposed to put those improvements in action? Well, I discussed things over with Freda, and the two of us came up with a plan. I'll let her give you the details, though. Why don't you go and find her? Traveler! Paimon, hello! Is there something I can help you with? Well, we've been a bit swamped lately, so Lisa recommended we find some ways to increase our efficiency. Uh, yes, I've discussed that with her as well. Currently, there are three areas you can improve. Brewing, cultivation, and sales. Increasing your efficiency in these areas will make it much easier to run your business. Wow, that sounds just like what we need! Let's give it a try, Traveler! Looks like... All the preparations needed for this upgrade have been made. Please, try it out. Wow. I'm kind of annoyed with this music. Calming and strength. Okay. Which is coming. Let me see. <clears throat> Let's do strength. Oh, wait. Didn't I have a calming one? I'm very confused. Skyward! 
Of dexterity, maybe. talking about alchemical potions. At first, I was worried something might have gone wrong with the herbs. But judging by the way people were talking, it seems like they were pretty pleased with the results. <laughs> Sucrose, your bioalchemical expertise was exactly what we needed for potion making. Yeah, we've been able to make potions with all sorts of different effects! You mastered potion making in such a short amount of time? I guess that's expected for someone of your talent, Traveler. I wouldn't be surprised if she became a potion master one day. Still, if you manage to master potion making in such a short amount of time, we should be able to start teaching the public about it as well. Wait, was that also a part of Jean's plan? Yep. It's something she and Mr. Albedo talked about. As I understand it, the goal was not just to create and sell potions, but also to teach the principles and practices of alchemy to the people. Thanks to your shop, the public's understanding of alchemical potions has increased quite a bit. Perhaps, one day, they'll even be able to make simple potions themselves. Hmm... Without the proper training, though, those potions could be dangerous to use. You're right. With Lisa there to mentor you, Traveler, we could rest assured that nothing would go wrong during the potion-making process. However, when it comes to the general public, we have to think of a way to ensure that any resulting potions would be safe to use. So, Mr. Albedo is planning to establish a set of criteria to evaluate various levels of potion-making ability. People will have to pass the exam that corresponds to their level of proficiency before being allowed to brew their own potions. Let me guess, you would like us to also take part in this exam? Yes. Although, it would probably be more accurate to say that we would like you to help us finalize the contents of the exam. In order to ensure a proper level of difficulty, we need to first collect the relevant data. That's where our mock exam comes in. If you could take it, Traveler, your results would serve as a very important reference for us. You will, of course, be compensated for your efforts. <laughs> what a great idea! I must admit, I'm very interested to see how much my cutie's alchemy skills have improved. Wonderful! Then, let me explain a little bit about how the exam works. The exam has four levels. Beginner, Intermediate, Advanced, and Expert. To pass, all you need to do is brew a potion within the time limit that satisfies the main objective. Satisfying additional objectives will earn you extra rewards. Okay, all of this is starting to sound pretty official. Paimon's nervous all of a sudden. Just do what you normally do and you should be fine. If you don't pass the first time around, you can always retake the exam. So, no need to put too much pressure on yourselves. Oh, retakes are allowed! Whew, that's a relief. Yep, just let me know when you're ready. Oh, 
constitution. are quite practiced and your potion meets the requirements as well congratulations on passing the beginner exam hmm, that was a piece of cake wow i really thought it would be more difficult for someone so new to potion making all right i believe i've collected all the necessary feedback looks like we'll have to make some adjustments to the level of difficulty for the actual exam i'm gonna head back to the lab now see you later traveler and paimon I only got one star. Here. I don't know what all the what I could have done differently, but Skyward! I had 60, did I not? Dexterity, strength, and wisdom. Dexterity, and Dexterity, strength, and wisdom.
Um... It's better before. How? That's not what I meant to do. Oops. What is it pointing me to here?
Nice. of the Take a break. Um, to use my resin, though. Add Astra. Thank you for com. All right. So that is Genshin Impact. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye bye.